Hi, this is Q with breaking-news.ca. Well, uh, this just in, uh, it's huge. Vladimir Putin issues an ultimatum to the United States to leave Eastern Europe. Um, this is just coming in, a fresh report. Um, it is dated October 4th, 2016, coming from a Russian-Bulgarian source. It's, legitimi it's legitimate and verified. Um, it's a machine translation from Russian and partly from Bulgaria, uh, a Bulgarian. I'm going to read to you what I can here, just give you some highlights. We're going to get right into it. Vladimir Putin has asked the U.S. to remove its defense infrastructure from Eastern Europe and from the territory of new NATO members in the Balkans and the Baltics, namely Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Poland, as well as its troops stationed there in recent years. He also insists that Washington sanctions are lifted and compensation paid for the damage caused by them. Um, this is coming uh, right up on the heels of, uh, of uh, you know, Putin moving nukes to the U.S. borders and Mediterranean seas. This is coming from uh, Putin that just uh, from um, had his military uh, head of his head head honchos in his military come out and tell us today that uh, from a command and control bunker bunker nonetheless that Russia will take down any American airplane or rocket targeting Syrian army. So if it's in their airspace and they're going to be dropping some bombs, they're 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 done. Um, that that's pretty scary. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on here with this ultimatum or the, this demand that basically NATO pulls out of uh, uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, Putin has asked uh, them to leave the territory and all NATO mem members in the Baltic states, as said. Um, uh, of course, Sergei Lazarov is right there, right beside him, towing the party line or the Putin line. Um, uh, La Lavrov uh, says in Moscow that its decision sends a signal to Washington that it will not achieve anything by talking with Russia from a position of strength and that sanctions and ultimatums uh, are not working. This is why this is a forced measure. Their strength is their um, ultimatums, they're saying now. Uh, again, this is machine uh, translated. Uh, part of the part of the issue is is that the nuclear proliferation agreement apparently is falling all apart. The new uh, the new mudslinging that Putin and or the Kremlin out of Moscow is doing is to say they're going to terminate the agreement with U.S. to dispose of plutonium from nuclear warheads. He's told this to Reuters. Um, it's another uh, indication of the deterioration between the relationship between Washington and Moscow. Boy, you could say that again. Uh, that's almost like uh, that deal killer really is the beginning of the Cold War again, really, because that's kind of what ended it. And uh, them wanting to rescind this and back out of it and start slinging mud and saying each side is not living up to it is um, pretty scary. Um, the occasion to term this is what it was is the occasion to terminate the processing of plutonium is in a disagreement with Moscow because they believe the Americans method is is that they the agreement was to process irreversible or to, to uh, scale back on that and actually destroy or get rid of uh, this material since 2010 the US stopped processing quote unquote irreversibly and the translation what they mean what they mean is to is to you know, is to get rid of it. Anyways, and they have only gone to the digging of the material, enabling them to uncontrolled production of nuclear missions. What, again, the, the translation is failing, but what they're saying is, is that not only did they stop uh, uh, the proliferation or the doing of it, they've been actively mining it, and uh, the Russia is saying that they've had uncontrolled production of nuclear mission, munitions. Now, that may or may not be true. You know, they did an awful lot of, um, you know, radioactive rounds and um, horrible, horrible things in Iraq and the Middle East. So, you know, where did that come from? Um, there's, a, there's a couple demands uh, that are emphatic as far as Putin is concerned. I want to preface this by saying, too, that this law was drafted back in 2000. It looks like Bulgarians, a group of Bulgarians and uh, of legislators there are pushing this. Um, uh, it was drafted back in um, 2000, 2015. It's pulled out again. And just again today on the 4th of October 2016, Putin is saying this is it. So this is the one to watch. This isn't legislation that's just willy-nilly. This is well thought out. 
Um, the demands basically are inside of this. Moscow requires a denial of hostile policies towards the Russian Federation through the following. Repeal of the law of Magnitsky from 2012, by which a confidential list is banned from the United States. Dozens of officials deemed responsible for the death and prison of Sergei Magnitsky. Uh, English is a little bad there, but you get the point. Number, the next one, repeal of target, targeting against Russian provisions in the Act of 2014 to support uh, freedom in Ukraine, basically to undo everything that the CIA did, Soros did, whoever did to uh, get their fingers in uh, the foothold into the Ukraine. That's a very, that's a very, very tall order. Um, the next one is compensation for damages caused to the, Red, to the Russian Federation as a result of imposed sanctions, including those caused by the Russian Konstornatsky. Wow. You know, there's a federal, uh, the federal law for the Eastern Bloc for all these countries to enact. Um, that's what Putin's basically pushing is um, you can get the, you can download it from the link on the website at breaking-news.ca. Uh, this is pretty serious, folks. In light of what's going on, th this is um, this is extremely troubling. Um, it, it's quite a bold move. You know, I don't know where the Western media is going to be on it to, today, October 7, 2016. But, you know, you heard it here. I, I don't know what to say. Um, this is quite scary, basically saying get the heck out of uh, Eastern Europe. And uh, you know where the, the, this uh, nuclear stockpiling is—it's a grow, it's a go, it's a green light to go ahead and do it. And they're basically saying they're going to do it well because we, you know, the U.S. or the United States, to uncontrolled, you know, uh, manufacturing of uh, nuclear munitions. So that that's quite a that's quite an accusation to uh, level at uh, at the states, and it's an almost untenable situation at this point. I really don't know what the solution is going to be. Again, this is Q with breaking-news.ca. I apologize for the sound quality of my voice and the, and the background. I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 12.28 a.m. on October 7, 2016. Please like and share. Um, <clears throat> this is breaking news, and again, I really appreciate you liking, sharing, and staying with me to this point in the video. Whatever time of day or night that you watch this, I hope you have a great one. Okay, bye now.